What is the deal guys? It's your boy z 85 Jew. We are back here with another video and today we are starting this video off in the IS 300 and what I'm doing right now I don't know how popular I guess this is for other people or like if this is happening to anybody else But at night when my headlights turn on you know how like the dash lights will come on and like be bright It looks like a few of them in this area are just like either not working or just dim whatever it is So what I'm doing right now, I actually went ahead and bought some LEDs for this car and I'll go ahead and throw this in the description below if you guys do want to buy this as well but basically you can use these lights for your cluster you should be able to use it for up here I guess like the, your map light uh, this one actually is already an LED so that one's good to go but this one on the other hand is just a regular light so I'll try to probably go ahead and replace that one as well as all of the ones in the cluster I wish I could show you what it looks like but unfortunately I'm doing this right now when it's bright outside you will just have to take my word that they will be a lot brighter I'll definitely show you the finished product once I'm done doing everything like that so without further ado let me go ahead and get started and I'll show you along the way all right, so the first thing you're gonna do, if you're looking under your cluster in the IS series, you have a screw hole here and also a screw hole here. It's, I know it's not the best right now just because like it's still bright out. So you have two up there and then you also have one right here, you can see. So you're just gonna take the three out and actually this whole kind of like thing right here is gonna come out. The cluster is gonna still be in there, but you're gonna take like this whole thing out. And then from there, there's some screws on the back. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll show you what's next. <laughs> so what's funny is these two screws at the top for me weren't even there. So I just had the one at the bottom, but once you do that, you can kind of pull this thing off and you can see that the tabs come out. Um, I believe there's a connector on this side right here. So you just wanna be careful about that. But yeah, just kind of pull it out. And then, um, yeah, it's a connector for the auto dimmingness. I think it's connected back there. So you just wanna disconnect that. This thing will come out. And then once you get this out, you can actually see that there's a screw here, a screw supposed to be there. And then there's also two at the bottom that you can see right there. And then right there for the cluster to come out. And then once that comes out, then you can replace all of your LEDs. So again, just to recap, when you actually take that little cluster thing out, you actually pull it up and then over. So you, it's gonna be in here like this. You're gonna pull it up and then just tilt it over and it comes out. And this is the connector that I was talking about. So you just unplug that. So yeah, now let me just go ahead and take off the one, two, three. And then again, I don't have, uh, I actually know it is just three. Sorry, I was just kidding. So yeah, one, two, and then three, and then the cluster will come out. All right, now with the cluster out, your car's officially a bucket. Let me stop. <laughs> All right, but yeah, now with this off, you do have two connectors back there. So let me turn this thing over. And yeah, one is going to be there. One is going to be there. Pretty easy. You actually just push down on the top tab, pull it out, push down, pull it out. So that is that. But now we can actually see our lights. And I believe the ones that I'm replacing are all of the big ones. So this one, that one, that one, and I think that's it. You do have other lights in here for like, you know, check engine and all that other stuff. But everything else for me was working. It was just mainly the bigger ones. So to take these out, you actually just turn it to the side and it should kind of pop out. And here you go. And it looks like, that's kind of weird. This one's already an LED, but since I have it out, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it anyway. But, um, but yeah, you get the idea. So I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to tell, but let me see. I don't know if you can really even tell. I'm trying to cover it, but basically you guys can see that the LED is working to the right and the center and then over there. I know, like I said, it's really hard. Actually, here we go. Let's see there we go actually yeah that should look a little bit better i'm trying to cover it as best as i can but yeah you can just tell how the uh, the led looks so yeah that is a uh, mission complete for this one so one of the other things that i need to do on this is 300 is actually change out the spark plugs so i'm having a slight misfire it's not all the time but usually it's just kind of like starting off at a light you know just pulling off from zero miles per hour it's just slightly misfiring so i think i'm just going to go ahead and change them all out i do have extra coil packs actually for this car not coil packs excuse me spark plugs for this car because when you get a car tuned you want to usually have an extra set so that way like when you're on the dyno you can just go ahead and change out and have a fresh set after the tune is like somewhat decent and that's what I have for that car. So I have spark plugs in the car right now. And then I also have another set. So I'm probably just going to use those other set for this one. And we'll just see how it goes from there. 
But yeah, let me do that and then I'll let you guys know how it feels after. And not too much later, it really didn't take me that much time to get everything apart, but it is crazy that the 2JZ GE version it's just so it, it, it's just so difficult, you know? I had to take everything off. Like I had to take this off. You know, there's a piece to the throttle body that goes right there. Obviously the intake pipe goes right there. Like I had to take literally everything off just to get to the coil packs and spark plugs. But as opposed to the 2JZ GTE that is in this car, it is so much easier to do that. It probably literally would take you maybe 10 minutes tops to take everything off and put everything back together. But how the engineers and everything with this one, man, I don't know what the heck that guy was smoking, but I need some of that stuff. Long story short though, we do have all the spark plugs out and they are right here. You can definitely tell that they are really, really old. You know, there's rust around them, maybe some water kind of got like down in the cylinders and just even the the, um, the thread pitch here alone just doesn't look the best. Luckily though, they do look pretty consistent all the way across the board, so that's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and be throwing in a fresh set and like I mentioned before, this set is actually from the 2JZ GTE that I have swapped into my Nismo 370Z Nismo. These are NGKs, here are the part number, just in case you guys were wondering. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in and then go ahead and put everything back together and we'll see how it goes, man. But dang, bro, I just, I can't believe that I had to take all of this stuff off, man. Everything, bro, from the throttle cable, like everything, man. All right, just like that, we got everything back together looking like OEM. Try to clean some stuff up. So now let me go ahead and try to start it up. Make sure everything is plugged up how it should. I actually see something that is not plugged up. Oh, it looks like the clip is kind of broken. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's unfortunate. But basically that kind of slides on there. Whatever, that'll be right there. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to start this thing up and see how it runs. the bat i started it up it's idling a bit high i don't know if it's because i did have to adjust the uh the throttle cable and stuff like that so maybe i have to adjust it again to bring it back down but it is a cold start so we'll see even right now like you guys can hear the exhaust note it sounds a lot better and it's a lot smoother so i really do think that the spark plugs were our issue in this case Yeah, let me just play around with it. Let's see if the idle comes down and I'll let you guys know from there. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I might as well give you guys some quick revs. It is still warming up, but like I said, it's not gonna be that crazy. Yeah, I think I need to adjust the throttle cable. I think I finally got it figured out, so. You can hear how it's coming down now, but before when I was revving it, it wasn't. I think we're good, I think the issue is fixed. I think the spark plugs definitely helped out, so. I think I'm in the video here as well. If you guys did enjoy, please go ahead and leave me a like on this video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to your boy for more content. We have tons of stuff coming with this car, this car, and then not only my boy's car as well, so. Appreciate you guys for watching, I'll see you.